What's up everybody? Tonight our project will be mounting the Harbor Freight rifle cases. At least one case tonight. It's gonna, I already took the foam out and I bought some uh, nice little master locks for it. We're gonna mount this to the roof of the GX. Ugh. So, right now my only issue is I have about six and a half inches from like the weather stripping up there. And the front of this is a little bit more raked, raked down. So we're probably gonna hook it up to one of these front bars. These are two inches across. So already I've been working a little bit and created a little, what we're gonna do is this is gonna go, these plates are gonna go underneath, but drill them like that. They're 5 16 hardware. I'm going to drill through the box and then we're gonna do on four corners. And then, cause I was thinking about originally drilling through them, kind of like how I did the roof rack. I just drilled through right there and that's held, but this will allow me to move it side to side if I decided adding some other accessory over there and just uh, more flexibility. But this is just regular aluminum you get from any like Home Depot or Lowe's. Should be enough when you're drilling them, try to get it as close as possible because when the tension you're gonna be putting on this, these will, each of these will bend, but you want it to bend a little bit because it's gonna keep it from moving around. So yeah, so next step is to drill matching holes on the case and figure out where the case sits best. And then really it's super simple. Uh, once you drill those, I'll, I'll bolt right up. And then I'll show you guys kind of what I'm storing in it and kind of what plans I have. So yeah, so that's the plan. I'll keep you guys in tune. On top of the roof, I went through and marked um, over on that crossbar over there um, where this is. So right now I'm gonna do spot for foot here, foot here, and we're only gonna do one in the back. I wanna see if that's enough. Should be fine. But we shall see. So I'm just gonna measure the front hole where I got that. Two and two and three quarters. You don't really need tape. If you have a black marker, then you kinda you gotta figure out something to mark it with. And I am losing my stuff all over the place. Okay. Captain, we've got holes on our ship. Oh, look at those. Those are some clean holes. Now's the time where we're going to actually put this bad boy in. So far, I've been really impressed with the the quality on this bad boy because oh, I was nervous with Harbor Freight, but I worked there for a stint, did my time, a little hazard fraught, and most stuff in there is pretty good. Personally, wouldn't touch the air compressor. So. Oh, bud, we're just chooching right in there. Make sure you put a washer down first to disperse your mechanical load on the plastic so you don't tear it out. And I was debating on putting a little silicone carney in between these, but we're going to run it and see if we have any rust. 
And if we get any rust, we will then deal with that. But for right now, don't feel like busting out the car. Okay, I'm gonna kinda show you what's going on here with the mount. So, flat washer with big plate right there. And that's gonna all be nice and tight in there. We have, once we tighten them all up, here's the other two. The bags are got way too long of hardware. But it doesn't touch the roof, so should be good. This is gonna be just a little bit tricky taking these down, but we'll get her. Okay, awesome. We got it. that mounted, back mounted. Now the hardest one. Okay, all the brackets are on. So now I'm gonna start tightening them up. Go the wrong direction. Remember everybody at home what I was saying earlier. This all could be in vain as we still need to get out the door. One thing I probably should have done both sides is put a washer on both sides of the case. But, wow, just the front tooth. That's pretty, pretty stout. Okay, look at that. So, shape test. Yeah. In the middle we got a little like heavy movement, but that's fine. Okay, we're gonna test to see if this bad boy rubs. I got my lovely assistant Lynn out here to, to watch. So maybe get a shot. We're gonna try not to take her out at the same time. Jump off now, we're all good. <laughs> Test was successful. I'm gonna buy another one now because these bad boys they have a lot of space. Um, I'll kind of show you what I have in there or had in there earlier. I'm only filled up halfway, so oh, bad lighting. So, recovery strap, saw shackle, and a shackle on it. Um, have a couple of uh, tie downs, hitch recovery point, flashlight, jump starter, and then I'm gonna throw another recovery strap in, and 
few more things. I also picked up just a couple of these like little master lock locks. Nothing crazy. If somebody really wants something, it's plastic. They're gonna rip that, rip it open. So these will work. Good deterrent. Good deterrent warfare, as they say. But I'll fill it up and give you guys a shot of what it looks like with uh, all the gear in there. Pick it up nicer. 30 foot recovery strap. Basic sliding flush. This has still got like about like an inch and a half, two inch um, lip on it. So fits in there great. But just like that, closes. And this looks good for 120 or I think it was a hundred bucks when it caught on sale, like $10 maybe at most in hardware for good stainless stuff. About 30 minutes. Oh, and then like five bucks for two locks. We got the roof storage. That's way cheaper than any of the Rome boxes or Pelican boxes. It's, it's all the same crap. It's going to sit on your roof. But I would suggest, because it's it's all it's plastic, it's will get UV damaged. Um, put a little, some kind of like protectant on it. Ceramic coating, I heard, is snake oil, but also works amazing. So, do whatever you're gonna do. I'm just gonna throw probably a little wax on it, and then if the coating really fails or anything, we'll just paint it. And probably paint match everything else but right now we've been going with the uh, stainless steel and black and white theme so really plain but it looks good so that's all that matters right okay cool we'll uh catch up with you guys later okay what's up everybody we got the the case up top it's looking good we went and did a little bit of cursory noise testing in it it's barely noticeable above the roof rack. Once in a while, if wind catches it right, it's got a little bit of a whistle. Um, pretty quiet though. And overall, it looks pretty, pretty trick. Looks a little awkward, it's just one on there, so I'll probably have to get a second. I also need to rip off their little, their little badging, but. But yeah, 10 out of 10 recommend these boxes. It didn't fly off on the highway, so that's good. I might, I'm probably going to throw a little bit of thread locker on those. But yeah, I recommend this uh, for sure. I'll be doing more little handy little tips and tricks like this. Uh, so check out my Instagram also for a couple shots I might get. And then subscribe or content to come. See you guys. Baby boy.